Hello, I am back! Um, we have just arrived back in Luna after picking up the Moon Crescent. <clears throat> so lots and lots of things will be going on in Luna tonight. Not so much on the fighting part, which is good because I hurt badly. So, how you use the Moon Crescent is you go into your inventory and use it, just like everything else. Oh, hey, look, it's nighttime! Hey look, completely different music, and the tide's out! By the way, if you sleep in bed, um, or if you sleep in the inn, it will go back to daytime. Just searching the vases that I couldn't reach before. So, this is what Luna at night is like. Namely, there's all sorts of different things around. Uh, like, for instance, the original shopkeeper is no longer here, but you can go downstairs and go to new shopkeepers, which are much better, if I remember correctly. Hey look! Pirates! Yep, they're the pirates who don't do anything, let's be honest here. He's so sweet! Wait, didn't Domino threaten somebody's life? They can, when you have an item that lets you do that. This torch confuses me. It looks like a mini fire elemental. Alright, here's the weapon shop. Let's go ahead and upgrade all our stuff. Oh, let's be dangerous. Three different characters using a steel rod. And it's the most expensive item, naturally. Luckily, we've got crap tons of money. This is the reason why I got money. Otherwise, you would not be able to afford any of these items, for reference. Armor. Nope. Already have. Ah! Already have, already have, already have. Time for some capes. That's it. So, let's go ahead and take a look at our character stats now. Um, so, Mikwedka is 67 attack, 27 defense, 18 speed. So Annie is now 7 attack and 5 defense less than Mikwedka. This is finally the point where Mikwedka finally starts exceeding Annie. It will stop again in the other direction. Uh, it's mostly because she hasn't leveled up defense recently, and that's just annoying. Uh, Taunt actually has more defense than Annie at this point, and also more attack, but far less speed. Taunt is incredibly slow. Um, Samson finally has more defense than Taunt, which is sad. And rounding out the defense, Edward has highest defense in the party. Okay. Um, to be honest, Frontline Annie doesn't really make a whole bunch of sense anymore, so I'm actually going to change my formation again. Annie's going in the back with Edward. Frontline Taunt is freaking weird. 
And let's go ahead and give Taunt Annie's Ring of Defense. If he can use it. Yes, he can. There. That should help things a little. So, equipment has been purchased. Hey, look. A man and a woman. Where the woman is... Ah. Sneeze. Okay. Apparently when you flip this up, it actually mutes. It's kind of handy. A man and woman. Where the woman's cornered. I wonder if something bad's happening here. Let's search all of the barrels instead. Because McQuedka is apparently an asshole. And no, I'm not actually trying to search each of the barrels twice. Yeah, I want a piece of you. <laughs> Got bumped into a barrel. Token by appreciation. McQuedka gets kissed. And Annie gets jealous. You can ask me out for dinner anytime. Yeah, ask out for dinner. This is a rated kids to adults game, so... Yeah, it's kind of obvious what they were getting at. I think that's actually where I need to go, so I will go elsewhere. Item shop. Is this the item shop that I can actually get useful things? Uh, no, although a vision crystal's nice. So what vision crystals do is let you zoom out on the world map. But that's all they do. Okay, we've got a guiding branch, and that's all that's available. Okay. You're a worthless shop. Nobody cares about you. I, however, care about the treasure chest. It's a critical jewel. Which would be nice if, you know, I ever used them. Hey, look, it's a bar. Hey, look! Somebody's interested in magic beans as well. Hint, hint. Club Luna. Domino went to the island of Gaia. Scooping up nature's water with a vase of life. There's your hint. There's ale inside. Healing herb. That's what was there the entire time. A healing herb. Uh, yeah. And this one was a source of growth. Sources of growth are XP, which is awesome. Um. I'm actually going to save it for my next character because I'm pretty sure he's going to be a bit far behind on leveling and I actually want to use him, so. Dance with Dorothy. Haha! -ha. La 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 la, dance with me, lulu lulu lulu. What? That guy wants to dance with me? Of course I will, he's kinda cute. Hey look, now they're dancing. Which all they're doing is walking back and forth and twirling. I don't quite get it. Apparently this is Dorothy. And he's apparently not a bad dancer, even though they're not synchronized anymore. Eh. It's beyond the beyond. There's not a whole bunch to it. 
I remember the first time that I was playing this game before it kind of dawned on me what was going on with the bosses that I walked into the weapon shop and realized I can afford an item. Total. One. Oh wait, I already went there. It's the next one that I haven't gone to. Yep. He's still crying over his fossil of life. That's it. That's all we can do in Luna right now. Which is fine. That's pretty much all we needed to do. You actually don't need the Moon Crescent yet, technically. But you do need it before you talk to Domino. Because Domino wants the Moon Crescent so he can go party at any time. You know what? I want to be dark again. This is the route that we need to go. Oh, hey, look. Yeah, it doesn't last very long. Whoop. I can enter this valley in nighttime. Not that it matters. Hey, guess what? It's another sliding block puzzle, sort of. This one's not quite sliding block. This is more weird much more weird. So, we are actually off to go to Janawan, which was mentioned earlier. Janawan is, well, a boring town, like they said. However, there's a lot of things over there that we need. The first time I played this game, I actually went from Luna to Jonawan without actually making it night or anything like that, and kind of being confused and wandering back and forth constantly, and let's just say that this area was nasty to get through. Oh, Samson's at three hit points. I should probably heal him. Eh, he leveled up, so he's at five hit points now. Does that count? And there just happened to have been a healing herb. I think I'll use it. Okay, there's the treasure chest, so that's where I want to go. Ah, crap, I'm ambushed. put my tablet up so I can see when my previous Beyond the Beyond video is done processing. Okay, this isn't too bad. Magic. Annie, heal us all. It'd be so much nicer if I had heal rain, but I'm still a few levels off of that. Annie, heal Sammy. Let's see, what level am I right now? 16? Only two more levels until I get heal rain. I'm actually higher level than normal right now. Which is one of the reasons why I think I did sequence break, even though the FAQ actually did this in the exact same order that I'm doing this in. Um, you are supposed to be level 20 by the time that you are done dealing with Bandor. Which sounds a really long way away. It's actually not. But I can guarantee I will be higher than level 20 by then. Taunt might not be, but that's just Taunt. Who cares about Taunt? Okay, so I care a little bit about Taunt. Obviously, he's better than Samson. I should have just said, you know, go off. Front row taunt. Ugh. Nope, need to walk around. <clears throat> Again. Yeah, this is where things will start getting painful. Slips are very common in this area.
Yay, Samson was useful. Damn it, Samson. Wow, even Edward's faster than a slip now. That was nice, Edward. Unfortunately, she's gonna wind us to death. Wonk. Twenty-eight damage from Taunt's staff. Okay, now I need to go heal everybody. So may I note that wind two costs? I think it's something like eight MP, and it causes me to have to spend something like twelve MP. This is the reason why this is an unfair contest. I have no area of effect healing, so I don't have efficient ways of dealing with area of effect spells. It's obnoxious. I don't like it. No, sir. Don't like it. I want to go this way so I can go to the treasure chest. And this is actually a fairly long, can't really call it a dungeon, passage. You know what? Samson, you can defend. quite goes down to two hit points. I should probably heal that. Yep, that's right. Cure 2 is no longer fully healing me. Yeah. All of this, and I gain Mantle Ribbon. Does this mean I can move Taunt back to the back row? That'd be nice. Let's see. 22 defense. 27. Three of which is... So he really has 24 defense. Yeah, his defense is still higher. Although Annie has a crap ton more hit points. But oh well. Ropers? Meh. So much better with speed up. Otherwise, I mean, like I said, the last video, which was only one hour long in reality, would have was two and a half game hours. Single sliff. Edwards in trouble. Not anymore. I should heal Edward though. Basically, I need to make sure I heal everybody to be above 14 current hit points because of the sliffs. I'll use a McQuedka heal. See, those are the tricks in this place. Those weird thingies that will just slide you over. Pot leveled up. Good. Taunt's going to remain behind for a little bit longer. You have to avoid being pulled over by them if you don't want to be yanked. And that's it. That's the only shtick to this entire dungeon-like place. It's not actually a dungeon, so I say dungeon-like. Oh, uh, yeah, you should attack. Not that it'd do any good. Uh, Taunt can take one more hit, so... I may end up throwing Taunt back into the back row again. Now I need to get to that center area. Naturally. Okay, not that way, that's for sure. Assassin and Orc Lord. Yeah, you can attack Samson. Yep, Samson proceeded to do more damage to himself than the enemy did to him. As usual. Annie, heal, Sammy. Now even Sammy's not 
is full healing. Or not even full healing now. Okay. So I need to go to the right. Ah, regular lizard warrior. Remember when I was summoning those earlier? Well, apparently I didn't sequence break at all. Uh, yep, still okay. Not for too much longer though. I will probably need to heal soon. Blah, 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 blah. Ah, crap. Fire Drake it. Because I can't survive two of them is the problem. I have one though. Oh, let's try it. Otherwise, I'm just gonna have a crap ton of groggy people. Come on, one of you be silenced. That's all I need is one. Damn it. This is not gonna go over well. Okay, good. Samson might get groggy, but that's okay. It's only Samson, nobody cares about. Oh, the quite is gonna get groggy now as well. Well that fire drake's gonna be worthless, isn't it? And he's not gonna get groggy, that's right. Yep, and then I'm gonna get winded. No. Yay, I'm surviving! Fire Drake. Problem solved. Heels all around! You know your job, Annie. <sighs> Which is sad, because Annie's not that bad of a character. Uh, yeah, heal ones all around. It's sad that I'm having to heal Taunt with that few hit points. Yeah, I think I am gonna throw Taunt back into the back row. No, actually, that should be suffice. Or that should suffice. Okay, so, I need to be further away from the grabby thingy. And... So many instances of two slips. There's not even a cup nearby. Sorry, bad joke. I only have five MP left already. Well, let's try this again. Now you see why I don't like status effects. They don't work. Good. Took out one at least. Work. Yay! Yeah, that's right, you got one-shotted by Taunt. Sucks to be you. Source of Vitality, which I'm immediately going to use. On Annie. And then swap Annie and taunt back. Actually, anyone. McWedka 2, Samson 3, Edward 4, taunt 5. I like them in um, turn order. If possible. Yeah, Annie, you need to use a mage potion. And then heal yourself. There we go. Taking care of. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da. 
Oh, I forgot to re-equip the defense ring. Oh well. Taunt. Give your defense ring to Annie. And while I'm at it, Annie. Give your ribbon to Samson, who is our pack mule. Because why not? Sad thing is that letting Samson get hit one extra time is actually more efficient on HP. Okay, and there's nothing over here, but I think this is where I get yanked across. No. Please, one of you get silenced. I'm just going to stop trying. Not worth it anymore. Kadoom! Samson, you actually did a good job? How's this possible? You have me so confused. Blub, 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 blub. All right. A skeleton warrior. Yeah. Frame skip's supposed to speed things up, damn it. Actually, fight this time. Samson needs some healing badly. Annie, heal one, Samson. I probably should have healed two. To oh well. Hey, look, no more fog. What's that mean? Absolutely nothing. Trying to remember where I'm supposed to go from here. Bugbear! That's a new type of enemy. It's probably gonna hurt, isn't it? Samson, you should defend. And apparently, it has no defense. And it's not very good against Steiner. Meh. That's its problem, not mine. Ice Warrior! If I remember right, they can cast Ice One. Yeah, because I summoned one, I remember now. Keep in mind, I'm gonna have to walk back through this dungeon again on my way back to Luna. And needs healing yet again! Imagine that. Sleeping powder, it's a one you sleep item. So that sounds useful. 
trying to remember what route I'm supposed to take. Don't remember at all. Ropers! Lots of them! Kind of tempts to just defend and have Taunt do everything. Yep, totally what I'm gonna do. Totally worth it. Although Taunt now needs a heal. I guess 15, he doesn't need it. It's 14 that he does. Yep, needed to go the other side, naturally. Lift. Now that I can actually... Uh, one sliff is usually not that big of a deal. It's the two sliff ones, or three, or four is actually possible. to avoid that guy, which is not hard to do once I see him. One gargoyle. Nikwedka, stop smoking pot on the job. My cat is sniffing an electrical cord. This has me concerned. I'm watching you soon. He's sitting on top of my UPS as usual. I don't know why he's sniffing the label on said electrical cord. And I may end up having to have him move. Maybe I should just have the camera pointed at my cats. They're probably more interesting than I am. Okay, double sliff. Two separate groups, so it's not worth trying to silence anyway. Nobody's groggy. Everything worked out fine. I swear. Or is there one more? That's the end. Hooray! We are out of that cursed place! Now we need to go to Jonawan, which is along the coast. I just can't remember where. There it is. Font leveled up. This is John one. Yep, new music. Hey look, it's the traveling merchant from the first town of the game. Because there's no merchant here otherwise, if I remember right. Gustan! What do you have, Gustan? You have mages potions. Let's see, you've got three mages potions. You're full. You don't need any. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I don't need any mages potions. Let's be honest here. Sorry, Gustan. You don't have anything I care about this time. I think this might be the only town in the game with this music. Thinking about it, I don't remember it anywhere else. 
Yeah, by the way, this town doesn't like you. They consider you arrogant or ignorant townsfolk. Harmony of nature will be disturbed forever. He doesn't trust people from towns. Who source of wisdom? Yay! That's right, I keep forgetting. All the IQ does is increase magic defense. So, really, I should have just used that on. Or, it's, or sorry, not magic res defense, magic resistance. Because all spells do a static amount of damage. Plus or minus, like, one. From the center four, one east, then three north. Center four, one east, three north. Keep remembering that. Oh, hey, look, it's a temporary priest. Yeah, these people don't like towns so much that they kick the priest out. Oh, damn it. I hate that default. Why would you set that as default? Center three. One, two, three. Hold on. Do I have to search the center first? There we go. This is where I need to put the Stone of Gaia, by the way. So much random noise. These headphones are noise-canceling, so I can't hear very well outside of them. It's unfortunate. Uh, maybe that might sound better. I have email. Oh, looks like my YouTube video finished uploading. So... Now we walk outside, and... I can't remember what we're supposed to do from here. Well, that's a problem. Um, let me remind myself really fast. Statue of Gaia somewhere? I don't think I do. I think I might have screwed up and accidentally gone here early. Yep, I did. Well, give me a moment. I will run all the way back and forth again. God's damn it, me. I was supposed to actually grab the Statue of Gaia first. Uh, I'm 
supposed to go in Luna during the day and trade for it, basically, according to the walkthrough, and I completely forgot. So, we are going to fast forward through this, so I will be right back. Uh, actually, this is probably a good spot to stop for now. I will just stop this recording, record the next one, speed it up a whole bunch, and then put it in the beginning of the next part. Bye! Stop.